3 quarters plus 1 fifth is equals to how much? Well, if we had, like in a previous question, the same denominators in both cases, like we had in a previous question, 3 ninths plus 4 ninths is equals to 7 ninths. If you have the same denominator the whole way through, you can just add the numerators. So 3 plus 4 is equals to 7. It's easy if the denominator remains the same, you're allowed to do that. If, on the other hand, you have like we do in this question, 3 quarters plus 1 fifth, well, now we're stuck. We can't add these together directly because it's like adding apples to oranges. I can't add 3 of something, quarters, to 1 of something else, fifths. I can't add quarters to fifths. I have to change them both into something that's common. Now, something that's common means, um, here's a simple example. Let's say that I had uh, 3 quarters plus 1 half. Well, it's easy to take a half and turn it into a quarter. Just think about it this way. How many times does 2 go into 4? It goes in 2 times. So if I want to change this into a quarter, just multiply this by 2. So it would become, um, actually on the bottom, it would become 4 because 2 times 2 is 4. The only thing is that I have to treat the top the same. If you're going to change a fraction, like a half, by multiplying by 2, you have to multiply both parts by 2. So on the top it's 1 times 2, so that would give me 2 over 4. So it would be 3 quarters plus 2 quarters, and that would give me my answer, which would just be 5 quarters. Because whenever the bottoms are the same, you can just add the tops to get this. So what do we do when we have 4 and 5? 4 doesn't go into 5, 5 doesn't go into 4. So what I can do is I can take both of these numbers, 4 and 5, multiply them together to get 20. The reason that I would do that is because multiplying the two of them together automatically gives me an answer that both of them go into. For example, how many times does 4 go into 20? Well, it goes in 5 times. How many times does 5 go into 20? It goes in 4 times. Of course it does, because I just did 4 times 5 gives me 20. So both of those numbers will go in in a nice, even way. So I'm going to change this to being over 20 and over 20. But I have to think about how did I get there. So it was 4 times 5 on the bottom, so I have to do 3 times 5 on the top. 3 times 5 gives me 15. How did I get uh, to 20 from 5? 5 times 4 gives me 20, so it's got to be 1 times 4. And so that gives me uh, 4. So 15 twentieths plus 4 twentieths gives me, remember you can just add the tops when the bottoms are the same, gives me 19 twentieths. And so my answer is D.